Hi, I'm the Model Train Master, and today we'll be weathering a Woodside Reefer car. So let's get rolling. My dog Bucky will really love this one. It's a Purina car, and I'm going to weather it. So some stuff is going to be similar, some stuff is going to be different with the weathering process on this particular model car. So things like rust will not be present here, or at least in far less quantities, and the chipping will be wood instead of steel, and... Also, the pin washes will go into way more crevices and cracks in the wood. So let's start it off with a gloss coat. So normally I airbrush this, but my airbrush has been giving me some trouble lately. So I've been brushing it on, so I'll let it dry and then I'll apply the oils. So what I'm using to fade this car is the dot fade technique. It uses oil paints and it blends them together to get that nice realistic faded and worn look. I'll be applying it off camera and we'll go to the next step. So I faded it and we're gonna go on to the next step. Okay, so normally I use sponge chipping, a technique where the unevenness of a ripped sponge makes it look like it's chipped. Go very lightly, but the thing is, I'm not doing rust since this car has wood, but things like that lock or that frame would definitely get some rust. And I've seen rust on non-corroding non materials on it because water washed down the rust on it, giving a very subtle effect. So I'm going to do some rust chipping first, I mean wood chipping. So the here's the wood chipping, and now I'm going to apply some rust streaking with oils. Now if, you, if we zoom in, you can see some metal parts, and that would corrode down on the wood. And the wood does not corrode, however, it makes rust streaking is very, very subtle. To sing like this, I'm going to be using some burnt sienna oil paint with a very, very fine brush. So here it is with the streaking. And basically the science behind this is that rust water gets soaked in by the wood, giving it looking like the rust the wood has corroded even though it hasn't. Okay, so let's put some grime on the trucks. Now I like using True Colors grimy black paint for this task and although it's not the most realistic it's a good thing to use I really like how it works I also like using rapid grind streaks that's what I call it and basically I use a brush and basically without paint I like streak it on really quick so it looks less so it looks like grime's been kicked up okay so let's paint some rust on the wheels and now probably be the finishing touch I said probably because there'd probably be one more thing and yes there is I'd like to add some oil however it hasn't dried so i'll probably do this off camera okay so that's the end of this video on the model train master and i'll see you next time